have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah. A spider signal. Cool idea, but any light source that made it bright enough was also way too hot. Someday, though. Uh, you okay? Jameson gave me this at his Bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know. All units, civilians are trapped following a vehicle collision. Officers needed at Gracie Mansion. Please copy. Serious car accident down there. Looks bad. That debris is trapping someone inside that car. I've got you. Stay calm. Everyone's safe. I should let fire and rescue do their jobs. Not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out.
need an officer on the scene. Location is Museum Mile. Over. Master Peace. Yuri, I found a fist construction site. Lots of busy worker bees up to no good. Try to make some noise. If someone calls in a disturbance, I can send cars. Noisy? I can do noisy. Times like this are when you find out who your friends are. And who your enemies are. Spider-Man! Okay, we were ready for this. my part to make it extinct. Thank you. 
Everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers. How many more Fisk construction sites are there? None. He had every one of them working overtime to bring in money. Well, now he's gonna have a tough time keeping his operation running. Which is bad for Fisk and good for New York. I trust you've enjoyed yourself. Willie! Funny story. I was just at one of your buildings. And you'd be shocked to hear that there were shenanigans of the criminal variety. TLDR, Fisk Construction is closed. I have other sources of revenue. But you've inconvenienced me. And there will be consequences. My memory's long. My reach is longer. I should make all the guys who've sworn to kill me fight it out for the privilege. to wash this gym shirt six years ago. Be you. And that's that. Every crime tower in the city is now repaired. Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long. The danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites, like peanut butter and chocolate, or breakfast for dinner. The two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. Hey, my first camera. I got this at a yard sale. Still uses film. Gotta be a special kind of crazy to rob a storefront in the city Spider-Man protects. Folks, you know I'm not one to promote conspiracy theories. Except ones I think are worthy of further discussion, like this one. I've heard reports of Spider-Man hovering around radio towers. First, I thought he was sabotaging them. But a far more alarming possibility came to mind. In his misguided delusion that he is protecting us, is he hacking into all our conversations? Business deals, credit card transactions, those personal calls with the wife when you're on a long, lonely book tour. I mean, when one is on a book tour, I wasn't talking about myself, I don't do that sort of thing, and anyone who thinks they have recordings of me doing it is wrong! Last ball game Uncle Ben ever took me to. I need to get this framed. I could really use his advice now.
almost forgot I bought this snow globe for Aunt May. I think I get my love for this city from her. I wonder if King T'Challa got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude's tough, but that would still probably hurt. Officer, please respond. Location is Little Tokyo. Over. That's a holdup. Oh, it is on. That's it? I feel like the holdup guys are phoning it in lately. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just blow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? What? Do you only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone. Or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Shut it off. Move, move, move! behind honestly Herman why are you 
robbing again. You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Shut enough. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here. And I plan to be the one to... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Boy, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catch
catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I could patch some. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Hey, ma'am. Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? Bad that angle. Need to get it straight off. Over. Give me the plans and it won't. Gotcha. Very nice. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. And I leaked the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks 
Looks like it's the underside of the high line. Perfect shot. Guess my train. I want to keep it possible. It's going to be a big score, yes. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've got to follow him. Huh. Where's he getting off? Tapping into the train system it should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. should head over near the subway exit, wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. 
Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. Oh, he will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavia. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Ah, <sighs> he's right. How did I lose track of time? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. 
They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter. There's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. these clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> Must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Best smokestack picture I ever took. Great light on that one. Perfect. The 
Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone! What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though. You probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu, and it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. 
I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb less? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid. You, just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, okay, now I can do some real damage. Mm. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Gotcha. Coming your way! use banks anymore you're lucky you found actual cash if you really want to rob banks try day trading it's all the rage wait 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 wait, wait. oh no oh come on herman you tell me who you're working for i can help you cut a deal if i talk i'm dead they made that very clear Let's go. 
gonna hurt. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even really sorry, no people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? Herman. You brought this on yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. test particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm, readings are troubling but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too. But also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Phew. 
That stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I think I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in? Not good. Last one. That's it. Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. thinking brewing gang war let's try to get ahead of it are there any fifth properties that haven't been hit tonight let me see patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in port side thanks yuri i'll check it out hey yuri any idea what fisk uses that shipyard for no idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Calling all units. Active robbery of an armored car. Officers, please converge on Longacre. This lab monitors the health of marine life, and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... They are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply's contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water, and fast, before people start getting sick. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Just call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. Barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If 
I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. The fish will spread it to other fish, which is good. There's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Clear to spray. Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man. Water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. All clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. I need to deal with them first. it off. Still working. These masks are as complicated as they are old. It's like studying hieroglyphs. 
start transferring. I want this wrapped up so we can secure the last of the gear in the vault. Yes, sir. On it. Sweet dream. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I, go my I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fisherman with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box calling the door? Yeah, got it. We can overload it and force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I've got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. It must not be the right box. I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. You got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room. There could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Ah! 
Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honkin' rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. <laughs> Found one. Nailed it. Hell yeah, you did. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. Well, look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Found it! Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trapdoor. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. This place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an hallway. Or was. Got empty crates here. And it looks like they took the ones they didn't clean out. There's a fenced-off room here they didn't bother with. Too much effort to break in when you can just peel back the wire mesh over this gun rack. They didn't want the non-lethal stuff. They passed up smoke grenades, flashbangs. Smash and grab. They were moving fast. There! They blew the locks to get in! here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! I needed that. Incoming! Reloading! Your timing is impeccable. How we doing? This will win it. See? I've got friends too! If I 
lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the web. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. Decides to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are going to tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. 
Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's Route 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage, Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else. But I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30 ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot. But sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L. Wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. No worries. Hope you find your stuff. Should be some trucks close by. Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <laughs> what an interesting smell. Eddie, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Thanks, Spider-Man. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh... Some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of the way. I think that's it. Man, please be here, please be here. Yes! Hope it still works. Looks like everything's here. Hey, look, an old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work.
got it. Look, it's that guy with the spider. Uh oh. Ice. Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. How am I going to talk my way onto MJ's couch? Let's see. Uh, hi, MJ. It's Peter. Any chance I could stay over to... Oh, that's too far. Wait. MJ! It's just in the neighborhood and... Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe... Okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Huh. Someone left me a voicemail. Number's blocked, though. Hey there, Spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals. And basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which... <coughs> hopefully... They never will. Oh, no. Someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydras, gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills. It's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it can bust. Maybe. Maybe not.
End of the trail. He's in this crowd. Time to smoke him out. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs. I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. thinking about you a lot lately we were good together weren't we maybe it's time to reignite the flame black cat don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob she promised she would give up that life what was she looking at anything look out of place there one of her cats she packs those with range extenders then harvests nearby rfid signals I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Better keep an eye out. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter. I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Well, of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another That's job. Time. I have a plan. You ask for it. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live Say good to night. invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Woman to eat this damn fucking way!
this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread, you know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Plumber. Et voilà. Even better than duct tape. Got it. Just in time. I'll fix. Last one, but those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high, unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Now I ask you, how many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry's station stopped a public utility meltdown. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type. Got it. Why are you doing this, Felicia? You know I'm gonna catch you. All units, 1030 on an armored car. Suspects are wearing masks. Officers needed in Upper Chinatown. Gentlemen, that is not how an ATM works. That's not even an ATM!
This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. <coughs> Got that one. <coughs> this can't be good for me. <coughs> nice. <coughs> Just need a few more samples. Oh, oh that one smells. Just a couple more. <coughs> Got it. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. One death, taking pictures. Just like the old bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. That's a keeper. of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I know. Even Shocker's a part of it. He got roped into running jobs for the demons. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. If it's not something worse. Officers, 
was a maniac, but he loved New York. The demons, though, it seems like they just want to tear the city down. I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here, Sully? Hope May's couch is comfortable. Man, was I ever a dork. Miss you. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after... Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. That's 
so humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. This is good stuff. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? Thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. <laughs> 